Welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm your host, Noah Chast, alongside analysts Summer Thomas and Hunter Pickoff. We're not even two weeks into what has already been a crazy NFL season. Lots of drama surrounding certain players, lots of money talks, and some early breakout stars. While there's still a long way to go, and what I'm going to do is give a couple bold statements about what's going to happen in this year's NFL season. And my colleagues will have to decide whether that prediction has some real good stock or value and if they should buy it or if I'm talking about is total nonsense and if they should sell it. Now, Lamar Jackson will win the MVP this season. Hunter, you buying or selling? I'm buying this one right now. Look, Lamar Jackson has all the weapons around him this year. They did a terrific job. They gave him Mark Ingram, Miles Boykin, I mean, Hollywood Brown. He makes fast guys look slow. Mark Andrews is a go-to weapon for him. Great offensive line, awesome defense and a very underappreciated head coach in John Harbaugh. That being said, though, I do think the reason why, and for any MVP, it's all about team success, and it's all about individual performance as well. I think the Ravens will be really good. Lamar's going to put up big numbers. Book it right now. He's winning MVP. All right, Hunter. I think I'm going to have to say sell for this one. I don't think that the team around Lamar Jackson is good enough for him to have an MVP season. I understand what you're saying about Marquise Brown and Mark Andrews, but... I still don't think that he has the kind of team around him that former MVP Pat Mahomes had last season. Um, Again, we're going to see what will happen since he is facing off against Pat Mahomes next week. Um, But again, usually running quarterbacks do not typically win MVP, so I'm going to have to say sell. Cam won it, though. I got to say, you sold me. I think I'm buying. Hollywood Brown, he's a talent, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. (laughs) Now, Antonio Brown does not last the entire season. Summer, what are you doing? Um, I'm buying that, for sure. I think that Antonio Brown has way too many off-the-field issues, um, especially with all these sexual misconduct allegations. If this really turns into something and if, if this case really picks up, I don't think the Patriots want to deal with it. Bill Belichick is a no-nonsense type of guy, and he is known for developing those second-string receivers into starters because his quarterback is Tom Brady. Antonio Brown is not the leader of this team, and if he starts acting like it, they're going to cut him, and he's gone. Look, I definitely agree in the sense that if he, he's basically one missed practice away from sitting on the couch and checking his Twitter feed. But I think he will be on his best behavior. Look, this is the most talented offense that Brady's ever had. That's pretty impressive. The, it's basically Patriots against the field for the Super Bowl this year. I think that Antonio Brown, he is at his best mentally when he is on a good team. We saw that earlier in his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once things hit the fan, he was all out. I think the culture, it'll get to him, at least for this season. I, I do sell the fact that Antonio Brown will not last the entire season. I got to say, I disagree with you, Hunter. I'm, I'm going to buy with Summer. He just he couldn't even make a preseason with the Raiders. And I know the Patriots are a different culture, but... I just can't see this fiasco season going all the way. Now, the Cowboys will agree to extend Dak Prescott and make him the highest paid quarterback by the end of the season. Buy or sell? Look, I'm putting my wallet, phone, my chain, putting it all out there. I'm buying. Look, Dak Prescott is 34 and 16 as a starting quarterback in his career. That's over 75% win total. He finally has weapons on the outside, and Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. Zeke just got signed, so he's going to have him for a long time. And look, this is the Cowboys' time. I know it's a media frenzy there, but he is the adult in the room. He's the one who can galvanize the troops. That's a very rare trait a quarterback can have. I know he's not the best quarterback in the NFL, but getting a max extension is all about timing, and it's Dak's time right now. Listen, I'm going to have to completely disagree with you. Um, Like Dak Prescott said to Pam Oliver, he said, I do not expect to be the highest paid quarterback because he has not won a Super Bowl. Dak was spot on when he said that. And yes, he has had a great past two games. But again, he hasn't really proven himself to be that top paid guy. And I think that the Cowboys spent way too much money on Zeke for them to be spending that kind of money on Dak right now. It's a quarterback, though. Yes, but Zeke is a very rare running back talent. And I really think that there are better quarterbacks out there than Dak Prescott. Again, I don't think he's irreplaceable. I think Zeke is irreplaceable, and that's why they gave him the contract. You know, Dak, he just keeps balling out, but I really don't think Jerry Jones wants to pay him that money. I do not think he's going to be the most paid quarterback, and I I will sell on that. Now, Le'Veon Bell will lead the league in all-purpose yards by the end of the season. Buy or sell? I'm buying it all out. I'm giving everything I have for this one. Um, as a Jets fan, I have to, but um, I think that Sam Darnold loves to target Le'Veon Bell. We only saw that in week one, but 
he loves to, both in the running game and the passing game. And Trevor Simeon is really uncomfortable with that first team offense. And I think that Bell is definitely going to be his biggest target because he is the best talent on the field on offense for the Jets. It just it makes complete sense to me. If the Jets can get enough production on offense for him to get all these opportunities, he definitely will. Look, that Jets front office, it's a mess. I'm sorry you don't want to hear it, but it's true. Adam Gase is an incompetent head coach. And it's not necessarily about Le'Veon Bell. It's more of an indictment on the Jets. Sam Donald got mono. The defense is all injured. The team is just not looking that great right now. And I think as a result, and Le'Veon Bell's banged up too. Even if he plays, he's still going to be hindered. And I think there's other running backs that are in a better position to exceed and lead the league in all-purpose yards in Bell this year. I totally see what you're saying here. But again, since he played almost every snap in the first game, I think there's a very solid chance that he will continue to do that because the Jets have so few off offensive weapons. Look, Summer, I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to agree with Hunter, and I'm, I'm going to sell that. I think he's, he took a year off. He's going to get injured. He's, I don't think he will end up leading the league in rushing or in total yards. And I am beyond excited to see how these takes and the rest of the NFL season plays out. There is plenty of action and drama left to go in the coming weeks, and we'll have all the updates for it here. For Hunter Pickoff, Summer Thomas, I'm Noah Chass with our NFL edition of Buy or Sell on Penn State Sports Night. Thank you for watching our latest edition of Penn State Sports Night. If you're a fan of our content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more clips. Also follow us on Twitter at PSSNTV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with the action. For all my colleagues, we are Penn State Sports Night.